Hello friends, in this video we are going to study what will be the formulable position inside the p-type semiconductor. So, formulable in p-type semiconductor and we know that in a p-type the majority carriers are the whole and the whole concentration is given by small p which will be equals to Na and Na is the acceptor concentration inside that p-type material. So, let us put the value of the whole concentration in this equation that is Nv exponential minus Ef minus Ev divided by Kt. This will be equals to Na. From this equation, we can write Nv by Na is equals to exponential, the minus sign will be positive Ef minus Ev divided by Kt. So, let us take ln on both sides that is Nv by Na it will be Ef minus Ev divided by Kt. So, Ef minus Ev is equals to Kt ln Nv by Na. So, this is the equation that will determine the Fermi level in the p-type semiconductor that is why I am denoting the Fermi level for this p type as EFP. So, EFP can be written as EFP is equals to EV plus KT ln NV by NA. So, this is the main monitoring equation of the p-type semiconductor which will determine the position of the Fermi level with respect to the valence energy band. So, we can say that this Fermi level position inside the p-type semiconductor from the equation if we see that it depends on two factors. First one is this temperature parameter and the second one is this Na parameter and this Na was the acceptor doping concentration in the p type semiconductor so it will be the doping concentration so this is all about the fermi level position in the p type semiconductor thank you